All right, what up, what up? Um, just woke up, kind of. Uh, gonna go get some coffee real quick. On another note about the coffee thing, if you don't drink coffee and you don't want to start drinking coffee, don't hang out with the Just For Fun Fools because they will get you on that shit. Uh, I, I used to drink coffee a little bit, but like now I'll be drinking that shit every day. <clears throat> um, so yeah, we're gonna get some coffee real quick and then come back. I got some cars that I need to roll, do some fender rolling, get a little bit of quick cash, you know, just a luxury little side hustle. Uh, so I can fund some parts for this shit and uh yeah so let's head to better buzz. Yo it is a nice ass day today. Got the sun out. We in bougie ass point loma. Got some fucking two chains. to get some coffee you know like this is a vibe every day i mean i'm off of work for a whole month so you know this is like been my routine wake up get some coffee just chill and then work on some cars go hang out with the homies but uh most definitely when i get back to my to my job it's gonna be a whole nother level because i'm not gonna have as much time off again but uh at least i'll be on a good schedule all right, so the parking at Better Buzz sucks. So I had to park down the fucking street. But it's like an everyday thing. Like, well, only when I bring the hatch, I can't go into the driveway because uh, I can get in, but going out is too steep. So I'll fucking end up taking out my bumper and shit. But yeah, like you can tell, this is a line called fucking Better Buzz and there's never fucking parking. So let's get some Better Buzz real quick. And then, uh, yeah, be right back out. Alright, so I got my stuff, got the coffee and the drink in one hand, got the GoPro in the other. But, um, a new addition. Damn, they just repaved the road. I got rocks and shit in my sandal. Um, new addition, got a spoon wing. Just got it re cleared by Victor at Exclusive Auto Detail. So this shit's looking right. Looking, damn, this shit looks good. Don't mind the fingerprints. We're about to head out and go back home. All right, so I need to go to this fucking stereo shop because my door actuator to the lock went out again. So like when I lock the door, this shit doesn't lock. So when I open the door, the alarm goes off. So I just got this shit replaced like a couple months ago and this one keeps going out. So I'm gonna go back and see if I get that shit for free because they already know my car. Obviously it's a little red fucking slammed ass car, but uh, I'm not gonna keep paying over and over and over again. And it's always this one, because this one, since I got the alarm installed, it has never gone out, so. Well, it's another day. I'm headed to Better Buzz again. Um, I stopped recording yesterday, but I went to go get the door actuator fixed, got that done. Um, I went to Best Buy because my SD card reader on the MacBook is not working. And I'm pretty sure it's just SD card reader, because when I plug my GoPro in, it pops up, but I want to be able to plug the SD card in so I can just transfer the files a lot faster. Loud ass music. Um, but yeah. I bought this so I can be able to transfer the um, the files faster from the GoPro. Because when I plug it in the GoPro, uh, it just takes forever to transfer each file. So it's not I can just drag and drop, hopefully. Um, but yeah. Other than that, it's a nice sunny day. And I'm uh, going to go back home, try to watch some youtube edit a video or two maybe uh and then after that roll some fenders again so it's gonna be a little good productive day i'll try to record a little bit more today all right so back home <clears throat> like i said took care took care of everything else took care of the door actuator um fuck what else did i do oh yeah i got that little sd card reader that shit worked perfectly fine but as you can tell now i gotta clean the fucking garage because i got a bunch of shit in here i got the quad I got my son's bike, the fender roller, the jack. I got the oil pan right there because I need to swap it out for this one because this one is dented in so much. I believe it may be like slightly choking the motor uh, or uh, choking the pickup, uh, not feeding oil as much as it should through the motor. So I need to do that. Probably do that shit this week. I just need to go get an uh, oil pan gasket and uh, hit that and just organize and clean all this shit up. I do this shit like every fucking week it's just because like, you know how it is if you have a garage. You come home and like I got shoes on the quad, shoes right there. I got fucking all my, uh, I have all these 
microfiber towels um like i said went to the desert not this weekend i was supposed to go but i didn't end up going but i got i got the grill sleeping bag the cooler i just got a bunch of shit everywhere um so i'm about to clean this all up real quick and then uh, organize it and uh yeah but since i'm already right here because the quad just sits for so damn long usually i forget to start it and it doesn't turn on So it's finally all cleaned up. Um, I know like it looks like a little bit of clutter right there, but that's because this is shit I use on a daily basis. Uh, the extension cord, the heat gun, the fender roller, the little stool, the rolling stool, um, and then the jack. So usually that shit sits right there and I can just back the hatch in. Got plenty of room and then I keep another jack over there. Uh, kind of tucked in the corner in case I need a second jack. Uh, cleaned all that shit up. That cooler's gonna go outside and uh, yeah, just gotta put the rest of the little shit away, but like all this shit we use on a daily basis, so. Um, yeah, other than that, it looks good. I uh, left the oil pan out because I know my ass, and if I put it away, it's just gonna get put on the back burner, and I'm never gonna put it on. So I left it out, that way I can fucking put that shit on, because every time I look at it, I'm like, damn, I need to get this shit out of the way, or I just need to fucking put this shit on, so. Uh, I'm headed to Claremont to go pick up some Swift Springs, because right now, I'm currently running, um, and the sun is bright. Right now, I'm currently running 18K in the rear. I think they're like five or six inch springs. And then I'm running 12K, eight inch springs in the front. But the 12K is a little bit too soft to where my front wheel is now rubbing on the fender. So I need to, uh, get some stiffer springs for the front. But the only thing is that. These are gonna be four inch, so I might have to run these four inches in the rear and then throw the other ones in the front just because they're a little bit longer, but we'll see. Um, I mean, they're both the same spring rate, so it doesn't really matter, but I'd rather save the front suspension, the front shocks uh, from wearing out unevenly. But uh, yeah, so I'm headed to Convoy real quick, gonna go meet up with this dude. But yeah, so once I get home, I'll show you all which I, what I'm talking about, and then I'm also gonna lower the car just a little bit more because now with the spoon wing i think it looks a little bit funky having that wheel gap or that tire gap but uh i'll show y'all when i get home all right so your boy got oh let me turn this shit down you know fucking listening to my shit but i get thrown in shit but anyways um your boy got your springs look at them shits look how small these johns are well they could fit in my hand you know fuck hold on trying to drive and record is not the business let me give y'all a quick fucking like my hand this spring so four inch 18 case with springs so there they are all right so a little bit uh behind uh so i got home i lifted the car up and i was gonna vlog all this but i was more of in a hurry to let like to get all this shit put on uh, so i already let the car cool down i got the wheel off and uh one thing i wanted to say is look if you get a proper alignment look at that even wear no camera wear really like this shit's solid, you know, just gotta get a proper alignment. And like I said, I daily my shit every single day. Got the short spindles, you probably can't really see, but the short spindles are in. I think it's rubbing on here, but. Anyways, let's get the spring on and then. Uh, All right, so I really suck with like recording and shit, you know, cause I already did the, the driver's side um, or the passenger side, I mean, but I already took the spring out. So now I'm working on the driver's side, but I'm gonna set this one up that way you guys can hopefully see. And yes, your boy's working in chanclas. I always work in chanclas. All right, boom. So that is out. And then I'll go ahead and show you all my short ass spindle real quick. So, boom. That's my shortened spindle. You can tell where it's been shortened right there. I also have a notch frame. So that way the axle would stop hitting. But right now I think my issue is if you can see, oh fuck, hold on. So if you see right there on the alternator bracket, you can tell where it 
right there where it's hitting on the axle so that's an issue but not really um, my tie rod kind of hits but i'm not really worried about that and then i have the spc uh, camber joints so i think we're good but let me go ahead and uh take this coil over apart that way we can get this uh swift spring on there i'm going to break these collars loose hope they don't smash my finger that's fucking tendency of doing because that's why my thumbnail is kind of broken. But boom. Alright. So bam. That's all done. And like I said, I've been doing this so much that like literally the suspension, you see me pop that shit out was pretty quick. Like literally I can do a whole civic and I'd say maybe uh, like an hour. Like if I'm really trying with my power tools and everything, so and that's if everything goes well. I shouldn't even have to put this shit in fast fast motion. Just boom, 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 real quick. It's the power of keeping your coils clean so they don't fucking lock up and seize. This one I have to spin a little bit because it have, it obviously has pre preload. I'll say prelude. It obviously has preload on the spring. Once I break the spring a little bit, the preload, I can go ahead and then y'all what these fingers do right about now just like the last two <laughs> bam finger game strong baby boom so bam got that off so let me fix the camera a little bit that way i can back up it's gonna be seated like that that's a super small spring, but like I said, it's what you gotta do to be low. You know what I'm saying? It's all about experience. I've been doing this since high school. So yeah, this is a 12K spring and this is an 18K spring. Um, the reason why I'm throwing 18Ks in the front is because poor wheel, as you can tell if you can see, it's like getting rashed up on here from hitting the fucking, from hitting the fender. This was from something else. But that's like paint and primer but the inside you can't see because it's too dark but it's like actually rough from hitting the wheel so that's that but let me go ahead and pop off this uh this spring I'm gonna pop that spring off size comparison I'm fucking short things yeah. so the spring is off so now what i'm gonna do is these are 62 millimeter ID springs, and then these are 60, so the hole is a little bit smaller, which will not allow, the plastic will not allow it to sit flush, which you probably won't be able to see, and I'll put in the light. But like, it won't be able to let it sit flush until I take the plastic piece off. Yeah, now with that plastic piece off, now, let me show you. Now with the plastic piece off, the little red piece inside, it allows the spring to sit flush all the way around. So that's that. And I have to do the same thing for the top because if I don't, if I don't do it for the top, it won't seat. It won't sit flush as well. I mean, I'm pretty sure like it'll make some loud clacking noises which I'm trying to have to do that. So bam. The shit you do to go low and also not really fuck up your wheels but yeah so obviously you can tell the spring is a lot higher because it's only four inches is a lot higher than the thread so usually what i do is i just put the top the top collar to the very last thread and then i lock it down um so that way i'm not putting too too much pressure on the um on the strut so you'll see what i'm talking about right now but let me go ahead and Finger game this shit real quick. Put the tripod back together. So obviously, with having four inch springs, you're gonna see the spring has a lot of play, but that's why I try to put the collars up as much as I can, so that way the actual strut isn't like, if I put the spring all the way down, the fucking strut isn't like going maxed out and gonna blow a lot quicker. 
it is gonna blow quick because like i said i'm now there's no prelude and this shit has a lot of play but like i said i've been doing this for a while so i try to put this call as, as high as i can and make a match that way when i put the car down the top compresses against the spring and we are good so i'm gonna go ahead and finish putting the collars on put everything back on and then put this shit back on the car so since these original springs i believe were i believe they're seven or eight inches i have to like t take into account like when i'm putting the spring like for height so let me see four that's it about seven inch spring so oh fuck you can't even see what i'm talking about so i had to like try to compensate now that i'm putting these back on and this is a much bigger spring I try to compensate. So I only used to have like a two finger gap in between this locking ring and that locking ring. So now I'm gonna have to put four because that's a pretty pretty big spring size difference. So we'll see. Like I said, I'm pretty I'm doing this for a while. So I'm just gonna take into account four fingers right now. And uh, I'll take into account four fingers right now and hopefully that shit works. Like I said, we'll see how good my actual fucking. So bam. Four fingers, I'm Gucci. So let's go ahead and put this shit back in the car. And get myself some light. So me, I'm pretty picky on how I put my shit in. So I like to have the logo facing outwards. So like once this shit's in, I like to be able to see like, you know what I'm saying? I like to be able to see shit like this. So I put the coil in and then I'll make sure that the, the logo is facing outward. It's just a pet peeve of mine, I don't fucking know why. So then, Everyone's like, why don't you use the impact? I never use the impact to tighten shit down, only to take shit off, majority of the times. Because the impact, you never know how much fucking torque you're actually putting. So really, I just did this one until I was like, hand tight, well, one hand tight, you know what I'm saying? Not finger tight, because I got a hand on the GoPro, and I got a hand on the motherfucking ratchet. So, we gonna put this shit back on. MPC drop forks, notch frame, shortened spindles, now I have four inch springs. Like I said, the logo is facing me. I got four fingers between the locking, the bottom locking ring. Bam, that's in. I'm not gonna lock anything in yet because I have to make sure that the height is set. Oh shit. So that is <laughs> Fuck, that is way fucking low. I have any clearance at least? I don't, this shit is sitting right on the fender. But, I don't know, let's see, because this side, that's exactly how I want it to sit, kind of. But once I lower the car, like, because now it's on the piece of wood, so that's why it's sitting like that. That shit does look hard as fuck though. So, give me one second while I hop in the car, I'm gonna back it up. Noted, shortened spindles, drop forks, short springs, cut shock towers, bad fitment. I don't know why I closed it, but yeah. Damn. That shit is crazy, yo. So obviously my four fingers was way off. But if you look at that, it's right on there. And I'm running a three mil spacer, so I'm pretty sure if I take the spacer off, it wouldn't rub, but I'm still not gonna drive this height. Um, my flashlight's not even on. But yeah. Look at that shit. So yeah, if I for, for if I were to for sure take the three mil spacer off, then I would be fine. But I'm not gonna drive this low. Cause I don't even know how much clearance I have on the oil pan. Oh yeah, that shit's on the flow on the flow. For sure. So I need to raise this shit up. So I'm gonna pause this. Raise the car up, figure out how I'm gonna get this shit back up because I could barely get the jack. I could barely get the jack out, but I might have to go like six fingers. God damn. We'll figure this out. I'll be right back. Alright, so I went ahead and raised it up about a finger for everyone asking what a notch frame is. Right there, that's what a notch frame looks like. Prevents the axle from hitting right there. 
I kind of made the hole too big, so I had to probably get it reinforced. Uh, same thing right there, the tie rod hits. But uh, yeah, I raise it up about an inch. So I'm about to put this shit back on and let's see how it sits. There we go. All right, well, the front's done. I need to do a fucking back, goddamn. All right, so as you can tell, the fronts are lowered and the rear I gotta work on tomorrow cause I'm already fucking tired. Um, the fronts, I mean, I'm fucking with it right now. This shit fucks. Like I said, it's just like, I can't even stick a finger in there. Like barely stick my finger in there. But we'll see how long this lasts. Like I said, I've never really went this low in the front. I mean, yeah, my hatch in Hawaii, but I didn't, I don't know, I really didn't drive that car that far at all. But we'll see, like I said, um, I daily drive this shit. So, yeah, we'll see. So, it's all done. I got the rears on, but I've been way too fucking busy and just trying to record and shit. But, there's the front. And there's the rears. So, that's how it sits all around. All right, so I'm done. I raise it back up to how I usually have it. I like this filming a lot better because I don't know, something about this just, it gets me. And then I obviously have the wheel poking out. So I love this fitment compared to any other fitment. I don't know. I'm just not a tuck guy. And I threw the BYS wing back on because uh, I'm going to put the spoon wing away since it took me forever to find that fucking wing. I don't want to mess it up. I just want to hold on to it for a while and uh, until I switch up. The setup, but for now, this is cool. Like I said, I, I like it like this, and uh, yeah. So, there's a spoon wing, I'm gonna put that away, put it back in storage, and uh, we're Gucci. But other than that, the car is back to how it's gonna sit.